Hey guys, and welcome to The Tomorrow Children. I remember seeing this maybe a few years ago at E3, and I, I downloaded it a few months ago, because um, I saw that it was free to play, but I never touched it until today. It's just been sitting there, like, wasting, like, five, six gigs, and I never touched it. And uh, today we're going to touch it. <laughs> we're going to play some of it. I don't really know anything about it. I don't really remember anything about it other than it being like an online community like resource game. Um, so I guess this go touch this. And being in Russian. Talkie. Okay, that's the same stuff. Luckily, we can just skip out of that. Nice. And look at this crazy thing coming out of the sky. Kind of makes me want to watch Inception. No, I'm gonna write that down. I'll go do that later. Inception. I haven't seen that movie in a while, too. Cool. Now we got a pickaxe, and now we got the Minecraft element where we mine. Or we mine. We haven't got the Minecraft yet because we haven't found a crafting bench or anything like that yet. So I assume let's uh, dig at the end of the staircase. It's kind of not really anything. You just tap square and it does it for you. And then we only have a few uses on the pickaxe too, which is. Interesting. Right, so it's like pitch black. We just can't uh, can't stay in the dark. Otherwise, we die. Luckily, we got this bright ass lantern. Cool. So it looks like we can jump on these blocks. Is this like a jumping puzzle? It's like Minecraft jumping puzzles? Oh man, I haven't played a jumping puzzle in Minecraft in a very long time. I think it was in Diversity 2? Or Diversity 1? Diversity 2? That us... Uh, that uh, like little uh, game mode that someone made. I can't remember who made it for uh, Minecraft on the PC. But uh, if, if you play Minecraft on the PC, definitely uh, try to find out uh, Diversity 1 and or just Diversity and Diversity 2. Just a mix of a bunch of like Minecraft minigames. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you uh, I believe you can play them in two player. I don't know if you can play it in any more than that, but you can play them in one or two player. But I think it's meant to be co-op or it could be single player. Either way, I played it with a friend. so. Alright, so it doesn't look like we can jump anywhere, it doesn't look like anything new came out here, so I guess we gotta use our pickaxe. Oh yeah, there's other things over here, what's over here? Alright, so maybe we can pick our way back there and maybe jump across or something, I don't know. Kinda reminds me of uh, the game a little bit, um, Echo Chrome. Not that this has anything to do with it, but just like the floating blocks and how you move it and it kinda looked like you could jump. Like those, uh, paintings. Alright, so hopefully we don't waste our pick here, because as you saw, we only had seven, I think, so 
probably drive it down to six, but luckily we chose the right pathway. You only have six left. Hmm. Interesting that our pick is a resource. Or has a finite. I mean, it's, oh, it's weird. I don't know. So many uses. I guess we gotta craft a new one. Where would we buy him? I have no idea. I don't know how this game works. So it looks like uh, we don't need to use our lantern. We can use these light sources. So that's good to know. Let's see what he has to say. I think so. I think I just found out about baby metal like either yesterday or the day before. But I think he's talking about this rock. Not that baby metal doesn't rock. <laughs> I don't know. It's such a weird, such a weird thing. <laughs> Hopefully we can upgrade our pickaxe because this is taking forever. Like she's looking so fast, but it's actually taking forever. It's like dinosaur eggs. All right, we got some rocks, resources. All right, so we can put in our backpack. Nice, our handy dandy backpack. Bag of holding. As long as it fits in there, it'll fit in there. God, I've been making a lot of D&D &D references lately. Very weird. All right, let's take this with us just in case that thing goes in the ground. We'll have uh, another light source so we don't have to waste our lantern. No, nope, phone call. No, oh, transceiver. Yes, I did. Alright, let's deposit our resources here. This is just a tutorial area, I'm sure, because, like I said, this game is supposed to be like a community-based resource gathering, building kind of game, so I think this is just a tutorial. Unless we build our own bases, then we have to invite people. I don't know. Let's find out. <clears throat> Alright, I put the stuff in storage. Now what? I like the look of this. I don't know, kind of maybe like a look of like Pan's Labyrinth or something. I don't know, something about it. I mean, the girl, I guess, really. But uh, I don't know, something about it's, it's cool, weird, but like a cool style to it. All right, well, maybe this TV is something new. Так, yes. <clears throat> All right. That reminds me of Paper Please. Another great game on the PC. If you have Steam, get that game. Oh, well, oh, it's a right game. Interesting game. All right, so it looks like we can buy clothes for our girl. We can control the policy, so we can probably uh, vote for stuff in our communities. We can use better tools, yay. It's already getting tired of that pickaxe. Design your town freely, awesome, so we can make our own towns. But we need a billion credits to make our own town. Luckily, we uh, hopefully we can uh, join someone else's town. Well, we'd have to, because we can't... Um, Let's actually take this phone call. Hello? Okay, I heard you. I guess because it's in Russian they want you more time to read the subtitles, but damn, that hangs for a while. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight. Eight seconds of just nothing. Unless it's loading something. I can read as fast as you speak, guy. Keep going. Conversation. Let's go. Hello, you still there? Okay, good, you can just press X and skip. 
Tudi mera stremizia privergeni bilo jeste. Okay, that's great. Well, sorry about that. If you guys <laughs> just pause it and read it, but I just read it as it came out so much faster. So you just press X if you guys decide that you like this game and you want to try it out yourself. If they're talking to you on the radio, press X and save yourself like a minute of empty air. Oh, this looks cool. Taking my little flower light plant with me. I don't care what you say. Alright, so well, that's loading. Since this is an online always game, we can pause the game while that does that. So this is a first person view and some other stuff too. Interesting. Oh, we should, probably should have stood on this and uh, rose up with it. I wonder if we can get on the back. Nope. Nope. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of Journey now. Alright, let's go into the subway. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, shit. There was a phone call. Oh, now I really regret not picking up that call. I wonder if I'll ever get that call again. There's the title card. The Tomorrow Children. We are the children of tomorrow. We are building our future. Although, actually, we're clones. I don't know if you guys caught that, but we're actually projection clones. Alright, so this is a town. We've arrived... Oopsie Slavi, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's the name of the town. And... Alright, we got a phone call. Hopefully that's the one we missed. Some people move when I think on the other side of this board. Getting a bunch of resources and stuff to the right. Alright. No, it looks like someone just disappeared or appeared. I'm guessing this guy is AI. What's this light source? Take this with us? No, can't put this in a back pocket. So there's a bus arriving at 4.44, is that what that said? Let's put that in the loading area. I guess. This is food, so maybe that's food for this town? Ooh, what is that? Why did that do? What, what is that? I don't know what I'm doing. I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'm probably messing up someone's town. But I mean, if I can interact with it. Oh, here comes a bus. Oh man, watch out, dude. Let's just do that. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like you can grab... Oh man, I don't know. Are these people or are these bots? They're just jumping around. I don't know what's going on. No, there's definitely people. They have different names. I don't know what's going on. This is funny. Alright, wait, I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, I missed the bus. catch it after. Let's check out the town anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. I This is probably not what I should be doing. This is just fun. I don't know. I'm just working. <laughs> I should, probably should not be doing this. Alright, let's, um, I'll just take it with me. Alright, um, alright, so yeah, this is the storage. So let's put this here. That's what we should be doing. There we go. Now this person's following. Alright, I don't know what's going on anymore. Alright, so you see the numbers in the bottom. So there's 48 of that resource, 30 of that resource, 20 of this one, 12 of that one. I'm just gonna put these here. <laughs> Why? Alright, what's this? Line up. Oh, that must suck. It's like uh, ammo boxes in the division where you have to line up to use it. Interesting. This guy. This guy looks shady. I like his bobblehead. I wonder if that's one of the creators of the game. Something's going on behind us. Okay. the black market, huh? Alright, so this is the military supplies. Then we got... Resident store. Oops, what's this? Alright. So 
can go in here and go to different islands and stuff. So let's put this over here and help the town. There we go. We're learning about stuff. All right, let's go back to these uh, vending machines over here. Union shop. So we are working for a union. Electrics. Apparel shop. See if we can buy a changer off it. Of course not. Probably need to level up or something. But you can't change your character. At least I haven't seen it. So everyone's just running around as the same person. That seems kind of weird. You know, we're the supposed to be the tomorrow children. And instead, we're just the tomorrow person. Because we're a clone. We're projection clone. So I guess it makes sense that we're all the same. Since we're clones. But do we have to be clones of the same person? Alright, we got a phone call. What we got? Okay. I think we're getting credit for all these people's buildings or something. I don't know. Can't go in there. It's kind of look like little houses. Are these like... Can you build your houses here? I guess that's what that is. Kind of look like little porta potties. Alright, here's the resource bank. It doesn't look like we can take anything out. Maybe we have to be a resident to uh, withdraw stuff. Can't take this. This is like an um, elevator, but we can't go on it. Alright, let's see. What's over here? These look like more little houses. This one has a little arrow in it. Why not? So you can buy currency, so I wonder if people actually bought like a billion credits or whatever to start their own towns. I mean, I imagine some towns... Oh wow, you really do have to wait in line. Um, I imagine that you... Uh, I mean, I imagine the people who made the game made towns already to populate the game, but... I wonder how long it takes you to legitimately get a billion credits or whatever to make your own town. I wonder how much it costs. Hey, someone made a lantern and left it there. We're not going to take it just in case the person makes it. Alright. So this looks like a community pool. So maybe we dump our resources in here. Or we dump the resources out there and then I guess the owner of the town can build these monuments. Another union shop. Ooh, alright. So we need nine. We have ten. So we can buy a new pickaxe. But I don't know if we want to save our money for other stuff. A shovel. So maybe a shovel we can dig down. Flashlight. Alright, why don't we, uh... Hold on, did we check all these stores? Oh, what is that behind us? Let's go check that out. Wait, is this attacking our town? Or this town? This ain't my town. It's kind of looking like a bionicle. Oh, wow. Alright, so we can pay real money to instantly revive where we are. We can just revive in town since we're in town already. We could wait for a comrade to come and revive us. Damn, what is a spider doing? He's just jumping on the buildings and attacking. Is it stealing our energy or something? I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. But uh, maybe we should just leave this place, I don't know. Ready to take a look at this? Yeah, it's the monuments. I don't think we have access to, but luckily the bus is here. Let's just get on the bus and let's ride out of here. It's a bad camera angle. I guess that's, uh... I guess something's in the way of the camera angle. So that's what you get for, uh... Being able to build whatever you want, but, uh, let's see if I can uh, actually get... Yeah, I think something's just blocking our view. But, uh, luckily, hopefully, when, uh, this bus gets moving, we'll, uh, get a better camera angle here in a second. There we go. Do, 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 oops. Just went through that guy's house. Or whatever those things are. I think they're houses. It looks like the town doesn't have enough food. Oh well. Alright, so you can't change the camera angles with the uh, bumpers. Uh, L1 and L1. Look at all this stuff over here. Someone's been busy. Let's go uh, load this stuff on the bus now. Nah, we won't do that. I think it auto loads anyway. What the hell? Is that like a pig? It looks like a pig with an apple in its mouth. 
That's what that looks like. Um, what's that? It's one of those monsters, I guess. Let's go check this out. Looks like this might have been bigger. Maybe someone dug this stuff out. It's kind of cool, actually. Alright, let's see what this game's all about. Looks like someone bore a hole in the side over here, so let's go in here. There's a bunch of lights. Let us know. Let's take one of these and explore. Oh, what is this? Is this treasure? Da -da -da -da. Night vision acquired. Interesting. So maybe now we can see in the dark. And we leveled up to number two. So we got an evaluation. Alright. Use the touchpad to use RB points. Our BGD. I'm going to call them BGD points. Vujuis. Something like that. Strength, agility, patriotism. Interesting. Might, fortitude, and dexterity. I usually like going high dex with my characters, but you know what? I don't know if that's necessary in this game right now. In another D&D &D reference. What the fuck? Um, fortitude. Trench warfare. Sure. Perks and badges and all this stuff. Alright, so let's um let's do another look to grab one of these things and go a little bit further in here. Or what do we do with that spider? Should we attack that spider? I don't even know if we can attack our spider with a pickaxe. Where'd it go? I lost it. There it is. It actually hurt me, I think. Huh. Alright, so you can call up the black market whenever you want. Poetry of motion. Just can buy gestures. Um, yeah, I don't think we have anything to buy. Just got a pickaxe. Let's um, try digging somewhere and just see what we find, I guess. Oh, we had spider go. I guess the spider disappeared. Let's take this out. Where can we go? Go this way. Hey, somebody already here. Picked up an apple or a peach or something. Oh, that looks so cool. This kind of reminds me a little bit also of um, No Man's Sky. Except, you know, actually multiplayer. And, you know, not as big, I guess, and not as expansive or whatever. Let's see if this will go down, or I think we need a shovel to actually make these little stairs, probably. But I wonder if something's down here. So maybe if we get a shovel, maybe we'll come back here and start digging. Dig down. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if that's just lag, them teleporting like that. Or if there's actually like a teleporting thing. Alright, let's just dig through this wall because who cares. I don't know. Although we are wasting our pickaxe. Which is kind of disappointing. So now we only have three left. But we made a nice window. I don't know what the hell's that. I think that was someone disappearing. Alright, let's, um... What do we got over here? Let's take this so we can see. Can we get out this way? No. But we do have a pickaxe. So let's use it. two uses left. But look at this room we found. It's a cool little room. What is that, like a light bulb on the wall? Right, let's get out of here. We're actually dying in the dark. Dancing in the dark. That's an old song. Not even that old, but it's, it's just a few years old. Dancing in the dark. Alright, we're stuck. Crisscross, make you jump, jump, there we go. See, whenever you need to jump somewhere, you just sing uh, crisscross, jump, jump, and you'll uh, jump higher than you normally jump. It's a little uh, video game secret for you guys. Oh no, we just missed the bus! We just missed the bus, no! Look at all these resources they didn't pick up too. Let's, uh, I guess, put these in our backpack? I don't know, let's move them over here. 
I don't know, I just like picking this stuff up and placing it over there. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it just, it, it's, it's kind of really satisfying. Alright, so let's wait for this bus, I guess. <sighs> oh man, these things take a few minutes to get here, huh? But it's cool that we're like, we can see the town from here. I don't think we can actually run to it though, we'll die, huh? Yeah, so you slowly get into the void. I wonder why we die and the buses don't die in the void. I guess because the buses are floating and they're not actually touching. Ooh, what's that glimmer stuff? It doesn't actually tell you the times like it did um, at the town. I found chips. Interesting. Alright, let's wait for this bus. <laughs> I just, I love that. I don't know what it reminds me of. I feel like it's a game, but I just can't think of the game. Just picking stuff up and putting it down. I, just, I love that animation. I don't know why. Like picking up that little apple or whatever. It's like, here, you take this apple now. You eat the apple. <laughs> what the hell is that in the distance? Alright, um, let's take a look at our stuff while we wait for the bus. I'm sure we'll hear it. I think I hear it now. Yeah, here it comes. I wonder if we can get hit by the bus. Nope, but we can get on it as it gets on, so that's cool. Just wait for the bus. And Stealth Cobra will just come over here and uh, put our stuff, put that stuff in here. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure that auto loads anyway, so it doesn't need to do that. But, um, that's fine. Let's see. He left the one. Let's see. Oh, no. I guess he took it. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Let's go back to the town, and let's go on the subway, and let's go to a different town. And see a different island. Play a little bit of this game. Look at all the resources in the back. That's such a cool, that's a cool thing. It would be cooler, though, if there was actually, like, a real person driving the bus, and you could just take little convoys and stuff. If the game was bigger, I mean... <sighs> Look at her looking back at the camera. Yeah, she knows. She knows we changed the camera. Yeah, she's looking at us. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Let's uh, head to the subway. Oh, look at all this junk. It just drops over. Where do we put this stuff? I don't know. Just put that there for now. Um, there's a subway. Let's go find another place to mess around in. See, it's weird because I don't think any of my friends play this game. And uh, I'll, I'll actually find out right now. Nope, none of my friends have a town. So I don't know if that means they don't play the game or they just don't own a town. But it's weird because I don't feel like helping out someone else's town that I don't know. Um, but let's just jump around here. No, I, I want to make my own world. But I guess that would be kind of hard to do from scratch by yourself. But I'm not going to be playing this game. I'm only going to be playing this game today. And I'm going to say goodbye. And delete it off my hard drive. But that's a good thing that I won't really have to do anymore is uh, game management and storage manage management because PlayStation 4 is now finally about about to um, include uh, external hard drives so you can uh, run games and apps off your hard drive so we went to this other town and we found a slide so this looks like more of a fun town the first town we went to looked a lot more like a union work camp I guess but uh, this seems like a little fun place with a slide it doesn't seem too much here all right so we got a little while before uh, place comes the bus comes can we talk to him? I can point to him. Voy. Ah, my Russian is so bad. I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this really means. <laughs> when it's subtitles, obviously. I'm like, Privyet. Spasiba. Viglietsa Viglia Nepna. Or something like that. Viglia Dietsa Viglia Kolnepna. Kolnepna. 
Viglia Dietz. Viglia Dinit. Ah, man. Russian's so hard. But it's something like you look wonderful today or something like that. You know. <laughs> Ladies. Viglia Dietz. Viglia Dietzna. Viglia Klepna. Something like that. Hope I'm not saying like something terrible in Russian. Because uh, I know that's not how you say it, but it's something like that. And then, no, uh, was it like. Cocktaila, it's like, how are you, or how have you been, or something like that. It's really bad. Anyway, the bus is here. Let's go. It's been a while since I uh, got, um, looked at uh, learning Russian and stuff. It's been a while. So anyway, uh, yeah, you have like the whistle, for whatever reason. Call attention to people and stuff. That's what I did. I usually do that when buses come. So other people in the area know, just in case they're waiting for the bus. So we found this uh, little place with a bunch of stairs, and there's like a trophy for uh, reaching 150 meters in the sky, I guess. So I was like, oh man, this looks pretty high. I wonder if these stairs actually go somewhere. So let's see if we can actually get that trophy for getting 150 feet up in there. If not, look for this town. Maybe if you can build up. I don't even know if you can build. Yeah, you must be able to build stuff up. And uh, we can build up and... Seems like a good place, a good island. Oh man, oh why I'm tired watching this. Like it's not like that's not like a joke or like a, a thing. I'm just I don't know why I'm yawning. I wasn't yawning like before we started. So when we started waiting for that bus, that's when I started to yawn. Oh hoo, hoo, hoo. you think we can make that jump? I don't know. Let's see what let's just see what's this way first. Before we jump to our death. Oh man, what the hell is this robot thing? Does this go up? No, this is this leads nowhere. I mean, we could probably make that jump and go on that and see where that goes. But go check this place. Oh, is this gonna hit us? It's probably gonna hit us, but I don't think it's gonna kill us in one hit. Yeah, okay, that was smart. All right. Let's see, practice the jump. Yeah, I think we can make it. Oh, yes, we did. Alright. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. That's a dead end. Oh, I was hoping we would get to the top. Oh, there's something over there. There's a doorway that way. We did bring this ladder with us. So, <laughs> maybe we can... We can uh, maybe the height of this ladder will be high enough. Nope. No trophy. Oh, well. Kind of reminds me of like uh, the Island of Misfit Toys. Is that what it is, or something? The look to it. I don't know. All right, looks like we're not going up. There's a spider. All right, so if we can't go up, let's go down, I guess, and go around, find something maybe. Hmm. All right, let's make this jump. Whoa. Luckily, we made it. Let's see where we can go from here. Let's head back and see if that other direction goes anywhere. Whoa, what? We just clipped through the world. What just happened? What the hell just happened? We clipped through the world. There was nothing. There was no holes in that uh, place. Well, anyway, that's been the Tomorrow Children. You can play that today. You can download that for free on the PlayStation Store. And uh, hit the subscribe button, all new stuff. Tomorrow, I am going to be playing For Honor, the actual game. And um, then Horizon Zero Dawn and Ghost Recon Wildlands. So hit that subscribe button. I got Resident Evil 7 playlist and a bunch of other games out now.